Hello everybody, General Discord here, and welcome back once again to Feed the Beast. As you can see, I'm over here by the house. Finished the roof, put the roof on. We didn't do that last time, I did that off camera. Whoa, hello, there's my face. Up. Oh, now I'm going down here apparently. Going down here. Um, so, today... There's no e easy way really to say this, but... I think this is going to be the last episode of this particular series. Now, I'm not 100% sure on that just yet, uh, but let me explain the reasoning for this. Uh, here in this world, you know, we've done a few things here, but I've been doing this series since March, and I really haven't accomplished anything yet, you know? And I've got all sorts of great stuff. I mean, I've got, I've got multiple portal guns. In fact, I found another one recently. I've got a third one somewhere. I don't know where it is. But I've got I've got three portal guns, which is more portal guns than a man really needs. Where is my third one? There it is. Found the third portal gun. Um, I just don't feel like I've accomplished much of anything here in this world, and I don't feel like I'm going to continue to do that to accomplish things here. Um. That isn't to say that I may still continue this series occasionally, but I don't think this is going to be a weekly series anymore. But, in place of that, I will still be continuing Feed the Beast. However, I'm going to switch over to Multiplayer Feed the Beast. That's right, I'm going to be playing Multiplayer Feed the Beast with uh, several members of the Cubed Planet server, the whitelisted server that I joined uh, back in July, or June, I don't remember when it was, July I think. Um, so I'm going to be playing some Feed the Beast with them, and we're actually going to be doing Feed the Beast Unleashed. And I've just been playing that for the last few days, and it is amazing. Not to take anything away from this mod pack, uh, the Direwolf 20 mod pack that we're currently on, but Feed the Beast Unleashed is amazing. There's so much cool stuff there. Uh, so I've been doing all sorts of exploring. Uh, there's tons and tons and tons of biomes available, uh, lots of different uh, blocks and items. And for that matter, plants. Uh, you know me, I love my farms. Um, so, you could think of this as maybe the end of Season 1, uh, and then maybe the next uh, series, which will be coming out, I think, next week, as Season 2. Uh, like I said, though, I haven't, I'm not fully convinced I will end the single-player series here. But I think with a multiplayer series, I'm probably going to be a little more motivated to do some stuff. I mean, I basically haven't done anything. It took me, how long was that, four months to do the house? I mean, come on, man. Not that, you know, it'll be any better in the multiplayer, but at least I'll be having other people there to go and have adventures with here. Uh, in this world, it's just, it's just me. This lonely old Discord out here on the ice, all by myself. And the sheep. I mean, I can do this, I guess, but you know, I could find a, I could find another portal gun somewhere, maybe. I don't know. Um, and I was kind of reluctant to, you know, think about doing this, but it's been on my mind for a while that I really haven't been doing much of anything in this series. You know, we've got the quarry going, which is nice, but we haven't really advanced very well. Wow, frame rate dip. Wowie. Down to like. 12 frames per second there. So, you know, as much as I hate to leave a series like this where we're not, where we haven't completed anything, I never really had a very good goal in mind for what I wanted to do in this world. And I had a couple uh, project ideas that uh, I was thinking about working on, but, you know, I'm a little channel and I don't get a lot of views. Um... Those of you had, that do watch and leave comments and leave likes is greatly appreciated, very greatly appreciated. Um, but I just can't justify, you know, spending a ton of time doing stuff in here that uh, that really gets me nowhere in the YouTube thing. You know, like I said, I may revisit the series in the future uh, if I choose to come back and do some more uh, stuff in single player. But for right now, I'm going to shift gears, and we're going to go into the Cube Planet multiplayer world. And in fact, I think I'm going to give you a little sneak peek of that uh, in this episode here at the end. We'll go on to the server real quick, and I will show you 
what I have done so far. I'm really not very advanced. I've only got, I think, nine diamonds <laughs> uh, on that server so far. Uh, it's been, it's been, it's been tough. It's, you know, the, the whole initial phase of uh, grinding is just preposterously difficult in uh, Feed the Beast. So I'm trying to, you know, get a lot of that done. Another frame rate dip. Ooh, down to nine frames per second. Nice. Uh, so I'm trying to get that done before I start, uh, you know, really doing episodes. Because I think I want the episodes more to focus on exploration than really uh, trying to build, like, a super crazy fancy base like this house is trying to be here. Um, I do have, you know, some ideas for my base in the uh, Cube Planet uh, Feed the Beast world. Although I don't know if they're technically calling it Cube Planet. I, that's what I call it. It's a bunch of the guys from Cube Planet. So, you know, that's basically what I'm calling it. But, uh, yeah, um, so I think this is going to be the end of this particular series right here. But like I said, we're going to go into a new world, and we'll be having new adventures with our friends, and we'll be uh, we'll be doing other stuff there. Um, yeah, I just I just don't feel very accomplished in this world is all. I mean, I wish I could take some of the stuff from this world into the next world, into that world, you know, like my, my jetpack for starters, the diamond drill, deficiency in silk touch. Oh, it's a beautiful thing. I barely got to use it. My portal gun, my potato gun, GLaDOS. GLaDOS, you there? GLaDOS? She's not there. She's sleeping. So anyway, um, this is goodbye to this world for now. Uh, it is possible that, you know, like I said, I may revisit this place in the future. Maybe do some other, you know, single-player adventures in a little bit. But this is, this is an old version of Minecraft. This is 1.4.7. And that came out a long, long time ago. That came out... At the end of last year, I think, 2012, somewhere in that area. Uh, and uh, Ultimate Feed the Beast, or Unleashed, Feed the Beast Unleashed is the one we're playing. Um, that one is 1.5.2, so it's, you know, at least within this year's release date, so. But yeah, um, let me go ahead and just leave this world here, and we're going to hop onto the, uh, the multiplayer server for a few minutes so I can show you around a little bit and tell you what uh, some of the things I want to do there are. So give me a break here, guys. Hold on one moment, and I'll be right back with you. All right, guys. Welcome back. I have got some lines up on my screen right here. This is this is annoying. And welcome, welcome to the Cube Planet Feed the Beast server, or whatever whatever we're calling it. I'm not sure if we're calling it Cube Planet or not. Um, like who is on here? Redsword's on. Blue Spruce is on. Ox is on. And a new guy, JC Viper, is on. Nice people, wonderful people to play with. These lines are really annoying, but the lines pop up with my F9 button, and I'm really not sure how to change that, because my F9 button is also my record button for fraps. So, we're just going to have to deal with these lines for right here. I'm not going to record for too much longer here, but I wanted to show you around a little bit here. Um, there is a mod on Feed the Beast Unleashed, and I can't remember what it's called. It's like... Uh, it's something regarding the biomes. It's not Extra Biomes XL like is on uh, Direwolf 20. This is a different one here that adds all sorts of crazy, crazy awesome uh, cool biomes. Uh, the one that I've chosen to settle in is the Mountain Biome. And I did that because as I was walking through, just looking at the scenery, looking at how the, the land was formed, uh, the trees that were here, and all the little... Uh, little uh, lakes and everything like that. It reminded me of home in Colorado. I live in Colorado. This reminds me of the mountains. And it was just beautiful. So I knew that I really just had to settle down here. So this is where I'm going to be living. Um, I've got myself a nice little uh, rubber farm set up so far. I'm going to organize these a little bit better. These trees are going to be uh, moved at some point. Uh, I think up to this hillside right here. I'm still in the initial... Uh, gathering phase right now. We've got some lovely music playing for us. Uh, I've got uh, got my crops right here, just a couple ones. This is cotton, and this is barley. Uh, barley you can uh, make into barley wheat and bake into bread, which as you can see is my primary source of food right now. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be switching to animal stuff. I may just stick with uh, plants and stuff. I may go vegetarian. Uh, these are blueberry bushes. 
They have blueberries, and blueberries are saturating. Um, I've got myself a nice little setup here. I've got a portal into the Twilight Forest. Let's just go take a peek there real quick here. I came in basically in, like, the worst place you could in this, uh, I think it's a dark forest. Completely underground here, so I had, to, I had to light it up a little bit and clear some space. Um, I've already found, you know, a couple hollow hills. I uh, found a lich tower, a labyrinth. So we're going to be doing some fun stuff. Hopefully we'll get uh, some other people to come along with us on those fun journeys. Whoop. But yeah, for right now, I'm just really still in the uh, resource gathering phase. Just trying to build up my supplies, because that is the most tedious part of uh, any Feed the Beast experience. These are mallow berry bushes. They're the exact same as blueberries. They heal, they fill half a hunger, and you can eat them even when your health is full. I don't know why, but... Um, let me take you inside my base real quick here. And next week, hopefully, I'll have some a little bit more uh, advancement on this stuff here. I was just making a bunch of charcoal because, you know, I've been cooking up a lot of stuff. These are my two machines. I've got a generator, and I've got a macerator, and that's it. <laughs> that's all I've got so far. I've been using coal coke to power my generator because it provides more EUs than regular coal, uh, coal or anything like that. And I've got myself a coke oven right here. And then just, you know, random storage. This is where I keep the good stuff. You know, as you see, a few diamonds. Bunch of iron, which is nice. A little bit of gold. I need more tin. Tons and tons of redstone. And a bunch of random stuff I really don't know. I mean, there's a bunch of stuff that's even unnamed in this mod pack. It has no perp or has no uh, name or, as far as I know, use. Um, and then these ore berries are weird. There's a lot of stuff. Up, oh, everyone's in. Everyone's in. I better get in bed. Okay, okay. I'm trying to change it to the, to daytime. <laughs> but there's there's a lot of stuff in this uh, mod pack that I'm still exploring and figuring out. Crashing in three. What does that mean? Means he's crashing or the server's crashing. Anyway, these are the ore berry bushes. They hurt if you stand next to them. And they give you ore berries that, that do things. And down here, I just dug myself a stairway down because I wanted to get down to diamond later, try and find diamonds. And it took me forever to find those nine diamonds. This, is, this has been a ridiculous process, trying to get diamonds. Up, oh, blue spruce left. He must have been crashing. Uh, down here, I dug my way, actually very conveniently, to an abandoned mine shaft. And I've explored a good portion of it, but I still need to go through, and uh, you can see up on my mini-map, and how do I do the mini-map big? No, there it is. Uh, you can see on the mini-map, uh, it's a little bit different. It's got the caves on and everything like that, so I can see... Uh, now I'm seeing something interesting, like up here, I wonder what this is. That's sort of blue. I wonder if that's one of the uh, regenerative hot springs. There's regenerative hot springs in this version of the game, or in these mods. And they actually give you regeneration if you sit in them and heal your wounds. Yeah, there's there's lots of caves uh, to go out and explore. Um, or take it away. There you go. I also have the mob radar on because I don't like getting surprised by mobs because I'm easily scared. Uh, if you've seen one of my recent episodes of Discord and Minecraft when a zombie dropped down on me and I screamed like a small child, you would see that. Uh, but this is my strip mine. Uh, this has been marginally successful at finding diamonds is where I found those nine. Uh, but I found lots of other stuff, you know, particularly iron and redstone, so we're good for there. Uh, still got a lot to explore down in this area here, but we're finding stuff, we're finding stuff. Um, as I mentioned, over in the other world, and I forgot to start my timer again, whatever. Um, in this series, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to concentrate on setting up, you know, a bunch of different farms and stuff like that. Make this uh, mountain little valley that I live in sort of a uh, a garden paradise, if you will. Uh, there's all sorts of crazy stuff to find here. I mean, there's these bushes. I don't even know what these are. They don't even have a name. Uh, you can eat these, but they don't actually heal your hunger. So they're kind of useful, or useless. They almost look like cranberries, you know. That kind of kind of looks like a cranberry. In fact, it might be a cranberry, which is pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, um, I really don't have much else to say. Uh, next episode, which will be next week, will be actually the, 
the first episode officially of this uh, new Feed the Beast series. Um, we'll, uh, um, nom, nom. we'll, I'll be a little bit further along, hopefully. Uh, maybe we'll have, you know, fun stuff like a portal gun. I really, really want a portal gun because I'm used to having portal guns. And now that I don't have a portal gun, it makes me sad. And all my chunks just spontaneously refresh themselves. It's weird. It does that sometimes. Still don't know why, but, uh, well, sometimes it's weird, I guess. There's a big cluster of monsters underground here. Close to the surface, I think. Yeah, look at all those bad guys. I'm looking at my uh, upper right-hand corner of the screen here on the uh, the mini-map. It shows the monster faces. Anyway, I think that's all for this episode. Um, let me know what ideas and suggestions you have for this mod pack. Let me know if you want me to go back and do some more episodes in the single-player series at some point. Uh, like I said, I, I'm kind of leaving that behind right now because I'm not a good motivator at doing things in that world. And I really need to, I really, I really need to be able to focus. And I think with, uh, have playing with other people on a multiplayer server, I'll be able to focus a little bit better. Ooh, frame rate drop just a little bit though. Oh, and this is cool. It gives you the, uh, mob, the mob, uh, information right here. Shows you their hit points. I'll punch that guy. Look at him. Now he's only got three. Three out of four. And now he's running around like a crazy person. Anyway, uh, like I said, next time I'm hoping I will have more technology. I'd like to make a jetpack. That's my second goal. My first goal is actually to make some uh, solar panels so I can actually get some renewable power. So I can actually start charging stuff. Because uh, this, uh, this coal coke... It's it's useful, it's great, but it takes forever to make, and uh, I'd rather use my coal on other things, like, uh, you know, like making solar panels, or diamonds. So many diamonds I want to make. Anyway, that's going to do it for this, this episode. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed this, if you're looking forward to more of the series, or if you just want me to shut up, go ahead and leave a like for that, too. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you on the next episode of Feed the Beast, which will actually be the first episode of Feed the Beast Unleashed. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.